I watched some footage of people who work in animal welfare. They were seen releasing animals back into the wild after rescuing them from disasters or nursing them back to health from sickness and injury. However, there are some animals that must never be released back into the forests or jungles of the world. These are pets that should not be let go into the real world and it is important to keep them as pets instead of releasing them in the wild. Number 8. Green Iguanas Sometimes, due to unforeseen circumstances, people can't keep their pets and must find them new homes. However, irresponsibly abandoning them can lead to their death or cause environmental issues. For example, green iguanas, popular as exotic pets, are often released into the wild when they become too large to handle. These captive bred animals struggle to survive and can disrupt local ecosystems. In places like California, Florida, and Hawaii, released iguanas have formed colonies, threatening native species. To protect local wildlife, owning iguanas has now been banned in some areas. It's crucial to act responsibly and seek proper solutions when rehoming pets. Number 7. Giant African Land Snails This animal is actually illegal in the United States because it's considered an invasive species capable of causing significant damage to the environment. So there you have it. That is my rescue snail, Shrek. Unlike the everyday garden variety snail, the giant African land snail is huge, with the largest becoming up to 15 inches long. That's one big snail. For those interested in keeping one of these as a pet, the news is all bad. They're simply not allowed in the US. Their history can be traced back to 1966, when a young boy brought three to Miami. Unfortunately, his grandmother wasn't exactly pleased, and when he could no longer handle them, she released them into the wild. It seems like a relatively innocent decision given that's where snails usually reside. However, they ended up taking on a life of their own. Seven years after they were released, the giant African land snail population boomed to over 18,000 and was creating quite the name for itself in the environment. And the news was all bad. Due to the damage they caused, the state of Florida had to spend over a million dollars to get rid of them, a task that took 10 years. Number 6. Turtles Turtles, with their adorable slow pace, are cold-blooded creatures that require a stable environment. If you're considering a turtle as a pet, remember it's a long-term commitment. Some species live up to 80 years. It's crucial to acquire them from reputable sources and not to remove them from their natural habitat. Equally, a turtle raised in captivity should never be released into the wild. Before getting a turtle, research their dietary needs, habitat, and specific care requirements. An aquarium may not suffice as they grow, and releasing them into the wild is not a solution. Captive turtles lack survival skills and can disrupt local ecosystems if they're not native. If you need to rehome your pet turtle, seek a suitable domestic environment instead. Number 5. Cuban Tree Frogs Cuban tree frogs are one of the largest tree frogs in the world. They are native to Cuba and the Bahamas, but mainly inhabit islands in the Caribbean region. They also make great pets and are popular among exotic animal lovers. Unfortunately, as is occasionally the case with pets, owners get bored of taking care of them. Some even go to the extreme of letting them escape. This has become so common with the Cuban tree frog that they now populate parts of Georgia and Florida, now there are so many of them in the wild that are considered an invasive species and create quite the chaotic disturbance to the environment. The frog quickly grows out of control, preying on native species like lizards, tadpoles, small snakes, and other tiny animals. They have a huge appetite, and although not as large as some predators, there's no natural predator that is capable of controlling their population. As a pet, they're fairly easy to care for as long as they get enough to eat and drink. But in the wild, they're dangerous, ruining a large portion of Florida's ecosystem. The best place for a Cuban tree frog is in a cage at home, where it can remain happy and healthy. Number 4. Hermit Crabs Hermit crabs are not suitable pets for several reasons. In the wild, they live in colonies, use seashells for protection, and enjoy social activities like climbing and foraging on tropical seashores. They can live up to 30 years, but in captivity, their lifespan is often reduced to just a few months to a year. Tap water can be toxic to them, and confined spaces hinder their molting process, which is essential for their survival. 
Hermit crabs are complex creatures that belong in their natural habitat, not in a cage. If you already have a hermit crab, never release it into the wild, as it is illegal in many states and can harm local ecosystems. If you must release it, ensure it's in a region where the species is native. However, be aware that releasing a pet can have legal consequences. Number 3. Wolves This large canine is native to Eurasia and North America. It is also closely related to both the coyote and golden jackal and has a reputation for being a vicious pack animal. Quite the social butterfly, the wolf's nuclear family consists of mom and dad and their offspring. There are up to 38 subspecies of wolves and a global population of an estimated 300,000. Wolves have a long history of interactions with humans, with most despising and hunting them due to attacks on livestock. Others respect them and dedicate their lives to caring for the largest member of the Canada family. Unlike dog pups, wolf pups are usually taken from their mother at the age of 14 days. They also require a lot more socialization in order for them to properly imprint on humans. Wolves are trainable, but not to the degree that dogs can be. In fact, they take a lot more work to obtain the same degree of reliability seen in most dogs. They are not an easy choice, and some are euthanized or released into the wild. Here, they are likely to starve or be killed by wolf packs that are already established in the area. Releasing a wolf into the wild that has been born in captivity is simply cruel and shouldn't be done. Number 2. Chimpanzee The chimpanzee is a great ape species that can be found in the forests and savannas of tropical Africa. These animals learn vital survival skills from their elders, so if they are kept in captivity, they may not have access to the knowledge and abilities they need to thrive in the wild. If a chimpanzee is released back into the wild after being kept as a pet or in captivity, it is likely to struggle to find food and water, make tools, and avoid predators. As an endangered species, chimpanzees are reliant on their instincts and skills for their independent survival. There are at least four subspecies of chimpanzees in Africa, each with unique physical and genetic characteristics. In the United States, many chimpanzees have been bred indiscriminately, and if released into the wild, they could disrupt the genetics of current populations. They could also introduce diseases to wild populations, potentially endangering thousands of chimpanzees. Number 1. Mouse Owning a pet mouse is a popular choice for many people. They are often kept in a cage, sometimes with tubes and tunnels or a hamster wheel, and are occasionally let out to spend time with their owners. They are low-maintenance pets and don't require much food. However, some people decide to release them into the wild, which is not a good idea. Domesticated mice are not suitable for survival in the wild because they lack the necessary genetic traits for survival. Wild mice, on the other hand, have adapted genes that help them survive. However, only 5% of them survive the first year, so the chances of a domesticated mouse surviving are very low. The smartest, fastest, strongest, healthiest, and luckiest mice survive to reproduce and pass on their genes, and a pet mouse will not be among these lucky few. If you need to give up your pet mouse, it is better to find someone in your area who is willing to adopt it as a pet. At times, individuals may face circumstances where they are unable to keep their pets, while some people choose to responsibly rehome their pets, others may believe that releasing them into the wild is a better option. However, this is a terrible idea for several reasons, including the low likelihood of survival for these animals. Additionally, we invite you to explore some of our other exciting content displayed on the screen. Thank you, and we hope to see you again soon.